hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is tiffany beeson from beauty and the beasons and i upload every single tuesday and sunday today's video is a holiday hosting prep with me featuring a living room refresh i want to thank the home depot for sponsoring today's video and i'll have more on that a little bit later but first we are making some delicious tea for both chris and i we were under the weather for a little bit i don't know if you can still hear it in my voice but i'm feeling much better one of the things on my list for the living room was something so simple that I had been putting off, and I'm sure you can relate to this, was changing out the batteries in my light so much brighter now. And I'm just going to go ahead and open up the curtains and the blinds, turn our Christmas tree on, and get to work on this living room refresh. Before I can add any new pieces of decor, I have to go ahead and deep clean this rug. It has been driving me crazy, and I'm actually trying out this new hack that I saw. You might have seen it on my Instagram or on my YouTube shorts where you go ahead and flip your rug over and you shampoo the bottom first before shampooing the top, and it gets out more dirt, and boy, did it get out more dirt. Besides shampooing the rug, it's also really nice to just go ahead and move your couch because look at all this stuff that was under it and I clean on the daily it doesn't matter this still happens with four kids and lots of play dates so we're going to pick up all of the trash and toys put them where they belong and then we're going to get started on shampooing this rug The rug is officially vacuumed and flipped over. I did get some comments about how like people were worried that the wetness would ruin their uh, hardwood floor underneath and things like that, but this was really, really odd. It was surprisingly dry so fast, so I was able to just go ahead and flip it over and shampoo the other side, luckily. And like I said, it just got out a ton of dirt. I'll show you the after pretty soon. Do you host any holidays at your home? We host almost all the holidays at our house, which is such a big blessing and we absolutely love doing it. But as a holiday magic maker, I wanted to add some last minute touches to make our home even cozier for hosting this Christmas. So I went to homedepot.com and I was able to find an amazing assortment of on-trend products across all different styles. You're going to see this super cute coffee table that I got in just a minute here as soon as I'm done with this rug. Not only do we trust the Home Depot with all of our home improvement needs, but we had the same experience when shopping for furniture and decor to complete our DIY projects and furnish our home. So the Home Depot has quality furniture and decor products, which you're about to see here in a minute, at the right price and even offers free delivery over $45 and flexible returns. I was so surprised at the amazing array of big name brands they have for these online only home decor products. I was excited to switch out the ottoman for this cute little coffee table because I wanted people to have a place to put their drinks when they're here over the holidays instead of just having to hold them. And also it's nice to just switch up. I'm saving the ottoman and might switch it back and forth here and there depending on what's going on in our home at the time. But I am loving this so far. I even got a very cute gold tray to go on top of it from Home Depot as well. These simple changes and additions to our living room have really made it feel so much more cozier for the holidays and I just can't wait to host again. But also, not just for like your own home decor items, these make amazing gifts. I'm going to do a little screen grab and show you some of the amazing assortment of gifts that they have for this holiday season. So from 12-7 to 12-20, the Home Depot is having a huge promotion for up to 35% off select furniture, decor, and mattresses. I'm so happy with everything I got. I'm not done. I'm going to show you some other pieces that I added to the living room, but first I just wanted to give you some amazing gift ideas as well. 
Next, I'm just putting our red throw blanket out. I felt like a little lost as to where to put it. Where do you put your throw blankets if you don't have like an ottoman or anything like that? Um, so now that the blanket is out, I'm showing you this amazing magazine stand that I found from Home Depot. It's gold, it's beautiful, and it works out perfectly because you know I always like to put seasonal books by the fireplace for the kids to grab. But also I think it's really special that we are putting out our photo books, especially when we have like family over to go back and look through our family photos and just reminisce. And last but not least are these beautiful frames I'm going to be putting our holiday photos in that we just got taken this year. Um, I just think they are perfect for this spot. I you know that I've been wanting to put picture frames under the stairs for a while, so these worked out perfectly. They come in packs of four. Originally I thought I was going to do eight, but four turned out to be the perfect amount of number for me without it looking like too cluttered, but I will have everything linked down below. I was so incredibly happy with how everything came out. It's just so cozy and beautiful and perfect for hosting this holiday season. So shop the Home Depot's online home decor line to help you save money on all of your gifts and decor this holiday season. Again, I will have everything linked down below to make it super easy for you to find. So one of my least favorite things to do is to hang pictures with Chris because he's so like technical about it. And I'm just like, let me just use my arms to space things out and wing it and see how it goes. But anyway, we wind up changing it like 15 different times and we're actually going to change it again to make it more like cohesive. I didn't like the spacing, how it came out, you'll see. So we are just going to change it one more time. We did use command strips at first, but we are going to wind up using like screws to put it into the wall. But command strips are a great way to see if like you actually like the where it's placed and all of that. So you can see right here, I don't like the space on the right hand side. So I, we definitely have to change this, but it is so, so beautiful. And again, I just love how it all came out. Everything looks so cozy to me and so cohesive. I can just feel more relaxed and that more homey feeling that I have been looking for. Alright, so we are on day two and I'm basically recipe testing for what I want to make for Christmas dinner. I actually debated like doing a taco margarita Christmas. We did that back in 2020 and it was just so much fun and it was different because we we're all kind of sick of like the normal foods because we just had Thanksgiving and all of that. But I'm going to be doing that in a minute here, but first I have been dying to make this citrus garland. It's super simple. The only thing is it takes a bit of time. Um, you go ahead and cut your citrus fruit. I put them on like cooling racks, but I'm sure you could put them like right on the actual um, racks in your oven or put a piece of parchment paper down. Um, this was just the way that I kept seeing it, but after cooking it, I, there wasn't like a lot of juices dripping out or anything like that. So. I think you could get away with that. But anyway, you're gonna go ahead and bake these on 325 degrees for three to six hours. That's a big difference, but it genuinely depends on your oven and how quickly it cooks. And they say every half hour to turn them, but I did it just like a couple of times when I just happened to be passing by the oven or checking on them. So I wasn't like, you know, very particular about it, but it did come out really, really cute. So stay tuned to see how these come out. And also for our recipes, we're gonna be making a roast this is my first time making a roast in the oven and it turned out absolutely delicious all i did was buy a grass-fed um, chuck roast from whole foods and i just patted it dry with some paper towels put it in this baking dish seasoned it very well with salt pepper garlic powder and onion powder on both sides put the cover back on and baked it on 325 degrees for about three hours because this was about three pounds so my rule of thumb is 325 degrees one hour per pound that's just how we like it cooked but of course check it if you like it more rare or anything like that um, but this was really good and i messed up i did put like a 
a little text on screen but for the citrus fruit you bake that on 225 not 325 I was getting mixed up with both of these but so easy is my first time not making it in a crock pot and I don't know if I ever want to go back I'm gonna put my onion onion garlic <laughs> what so now that I found my garlic and onion, I'm just chopping those up. It doesn't really matter how you cut them unless you plan on eating them. I'm just using them for flavor. So I just did larger chunks of onion and then I just smashed my garlic and put that in. I did about one yellow onion and I think like four or five garlic cloves. Also, while you're watching me cook this, I just wanted to take a second here and check in and see how everyone's doing. A little update here, we just got over a stomach virus, not like all of us, thank God. Um, and then some like respiratory thing that was wild that went through the house. Basically, this time of year is just no matter what you do, there's going to be sickness and just pray it helps your immune system get even stronger and it doesn't land you in the hospital or anything like that. But that's where we've been. I missed the upload on Tuesday, so I'm going to make up for it. I'm going to put out a new schedule with some updated dates on it. But anyway, I saw this on TikTok and I really, really liked it. It's a little bit more time consuming, but it's basically using my chopper that I use um, for lettuce, which I would never think to do because I'm like, I'll just cut the lettuce. But I like a very chopped salad. I just tend to eat more of it and like it better this way. So if you like a chopped salad, basically just fold your leaves and put it in this chopper and it's like just a really super simple way to get those fine chops of lettuce. Also, if you're making a salad just for yourself, it'd be really easy to do everything in here all at once, but since I'm making like a big salad for the whole family, I'm doing it this way where I'm putting like the lettuce first, then pouring it out and then doing my veggies. But again, if it's an individual salad, you can just do some lettuce and then whatever other veggies you want in it, pour it all out into a bowl and you have your full chopped salad. Also, I have to admit, I was fully convinced that getting a salad spinner was just like a waste of space, just an extra thing to have around. And then one of my sweet subscribers, Tanisha, sent this to me. And I don't know how I ever lived without it because you genuinely get so much water off of your lettuce and nobody wants soggy lettuce. So I am now team salad spinner. Just doing what I had on hand here, which were some mini cucumbers and some carrots, but you can obviously do whatever vegetables you want. I will say I tried a new balsamic dressing from Whole Foods and it was expensive and organic and it just honestly tasted horrible. Don't recommend. It tasted like makeup. What meal do you plan on having if you're hosting for Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate? I'm still torn because this meal came out literally so good. There was no leftovers. The kids loved it. I also made mashed potatoes to go with it and some beef gravy, but I'm just trying to think of like what size of roast I need and how long to cook it and where do you get a roast that size? Because um, like I said, this one, my entire family ate it and it was gone that night so I don't know how much to get for a larger amount of people then I was thinking like do I make a roast and a ham I don't know I absolutely love mashed potatoes I grew up on mashed potatoes it was always my favorite I'm always like a side girl that sounds really bad but you know what I mean like I like sides more than like the protein of the dish um, but anyway we are just making potatoes I saw that this was like a hack and I was like wait I've been doing this forever who remembers like when I made one of my Thanksgiving videos like a really long time back where I boiled the sweet potatoes whole and then you put it in cold water and the skin just pops off. 
But anyway, that's how we're doing our mashed potatoes as well. While we are waiting for dinner to be done, I'm actually making dessert and this was also 10 out of 10. I'm so happy I found this girl on Instagram that makes like gluten-free, dairy-free desserts and I wanted to try this for my brother who's both gluten-free and dairy-free. Um, I did use regular milk in this, but you can use almond milk or oat milk. So when I make it for Christmas and I will definitely be um, making this for him, it was honestly so delicious and so easy. I love that it has minimal ingredients. You basically just melt some chocolate on your stovetop with some coconut oil and you put a little bit of flour, eggs, the milk like I said, um, and like baking soda, baking soda and baking powder, salt, that's it. So, so easy and so delicious. I thought it was going to be like those gluten-free um, cakes that you get out at dinner and they're kind of like very uh, dense and super heavy, but this was not like that. I'm thinking of the flourless cakes, but this cake actually has flour in it. I do have to try to make the other kind on my own as well because we really enjoy those. But everyone loved it. The kids ate it and it, it inspired me to start making my cakes from scratch too. You know, I usually use box mix, but this was so simple and easy and delicious that I don't know, I feel as though like I have to just like make it from scratch too. So Chris is just going ahead and like shredding up the roast right now. Like I said, it was absolutely delicious. So I'll have these recipes down below as well, but basically the potatoes are done now and I just put a little bit of cold water on them, drained them, and now I am peeling the skins off before um, adding my butter and milk and mashing them, of course, with salt and pepper as well. I know that so many people just like use the electric mixer in their pots and pans, but I'm so afraid to mess up my beautiful caraway that I transfer them to a glass bowl to do it instead. I just, I can't take a chance because I love them too much. Now I'm just heating up this gravy, it was delicious, and our cake is done, which is perfect because I'm gonna take it out while we go eat dinner, and then it'll be cooled off enough for us to have putting my fruit back in because I had to take it out for the roast. Um, and then it's been 10 minutes, so I'm just gonna go ahead and let the cake cool on the rack now. And like I said, dinner was absolutely so, so good. Such an easy comfort meal. The cake turned out so light and fluffy and tasted even more amazing with a side of ice cream. So definitely all of these recipes that I quote tested, <laughs> they're definitely coming to Christmas as well. Here on to the next day and I'm just threading all of my dried out citrus fruit with some fishing wire. If your fruit has like for example some of them had like larger holes so it was like harder for the string to stay put i just did like an extra loophole around it and i'm using a sewing needle and it was perfect that way but so many of them didn't even need that because they stayed just fine on the fishing wire So I have a lot going on on my mantle. I have bells and I have two different types of bells actually. Um, and then I have two different types of garland. I have like a cedar garland and another kind that I basically just put underneath of it to lift that one up. I have wooden like faux cranberries up there, but I just love like the layers and how this all looks. 
adding the fruit to it just I don't know it all makes me so happy you know I'm usually somebody who likes less but having like particular spots like the mantle with a lot of decor on it just I don't know it's not like a lot of stuff on top of it I don't know how to explain it but this doesn't bother me I really like how it all looks together if there were a bunch of like knickknacks and stuff on top of it it would bother me but this just doesn't I just love the layered look Now that that's done, I just needed to make a couple printouts for myself to help my brain because although it looks like I'm like calm and organized on the outside, you don't even know what goes on in my head. It's like a hot ADD mess all the time and I just, I can't help it. So that's why I love making printables and writing down lists and all of that because it genuinely does just help me and keep me like on track. I also, besides like printing out, I'm trying to print out something to write down like our menu for Christmas and get that under wraps and see like what people are bringing and then I also have like a gift list I'm gonna do an overview and show you everything um, and then also I made myself a little classroom list as I'm the room mom for two classes um, for like what we're doing for the Christmas and holiday parties this year just to kind of like keep me all on track so I'll go ahead and put holes in this and put it in my mom binder and it will definitely help me so I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to my newsletter at tiffanybeeston.com. Just scroll to the bottom, put your email in. It's free and I have tons of free printables on there for you as well. So again, thanks for watching. I will see you on Tuesday.